Hello my friends, this week we're talking about our personal struggles and I have not had the best night tonight so I wanted to take advantage of my state of mind to hopefully have a mutually beneficial dialogue about my personal struggles. And I'd like to first say that one thing that has made my struggles more difficult to deal with has been adjusting to new emotions and starting hormones. I think this is common for a lot of guys. Uh, for me, it has manifested in more intense and more frequent, fre frequent, I can talk, agitation. Uh, I get angry a little bit more easily, but the biggest thing is just feeling overwhelming agitation. And that also plays with uh, a more intense obsessive compulsive tendencies since starting testosterone. I've been a lot more obsessive compulsive about certain things. And so I get agitated about something and I get locked in a train of thought and I can't escape that. And so if any of you guys deal with a similar kind of mood or maybe just uh, dealing with depression or anxiety. What, I, what has helped me is trying to be more conscious and self-aware of what your state of mind is at. And if you feel yourself slipping into a mood, remind yourself that this is superficial. This is not, this is not how it has to be. Um, you can try to let it go and breathe, and eventually it will pass. I don't know if that's because of the breathing or just timing, and breathing makes it more bearable to get through, but it does pass. Uh, although I am definitely fortunate because I have access to medication um, I've been taking for my anxiety because it was uh, a little uh, uh, debilitating in some respects. Uh, so if any of you guys are dealing with anxiety and depression that makes it hard to function and carry on through normal day-to-day -day activities, please try to seek help. If you can go to a doctor, that's great. If you can see a counselor or a guidance counselor or a teacher or anybody that you feel comfortable with, at least at the very least, talk about it with somebody and um, don't be ashamed to ask for help. Don't be ashamed to start a medication because it really works for some people and especially me. Um, I don't know where I'd be without it. I mean, I do, but I don't want to go back there. So mental health is something that we can confront and not be ashamed about because everybody deals with it to some degree. We're not all like, no, everybody's different and everybody has their own issues to deal with. So if yours are depression related, that's okay. And we're going to get through this with you. Um, I know that any of the guys here, including myself, would be happy to talk to you if you need help working through anything. If you just need somebody to listen to your problems, I'm okay with listening. You can write me an entire letter and I will read it and I will hear you. Because I know sometimes you just want to be heard. Um, so, there's one segment of my video. I'm just going to leave that part there. Um, Next, my personal, like, the specific struggles that I deal with um, relate to friendships and feeling like I have no friends. And I know that's not true because I know there um, are a lot of people who care for me and I have some pretty great friends. But I think that since losing a lot of friendships from high school after a breakup and a transition into college, and a transition into a different person in a way. Um, I've definitely changed a lot 
and I mean, I know that I'm still fundamentally me, but I don't know if my high school friends know that, because um, I haven't really heard from them, and that's hard for me. I also wonder if they're expecting me to reach out to them, but um, we're, this is, I'm not going to talk about this much more, because I can go on for hours about frustrations in this realm, but that's the main thing, um, is friendships, and know that you are definitely not alone and feeling like you have no one, but there are people who care for you, and there are people who love you and don't want you to go anywhere and don't want you to harm yourself. So hang in there and hope for a better day where you can feel all of the love around you. Because I know for me personally, one day I can feel lonely as shit and the next day feel so loved and happy and fantastic. So, I live for those days. Um, not saying that I'm suicidal, but uh, definitely things can get tough, and it's not always going to be that way. Um, I also have issues with top surgery seeming utterly unattainable. Um, but I just try to remind myself that I'll get there eventually. And I guess that's all that I can do. Um, and for all of you guys waiting to have top surgery, well, we can just remind ourselves that our bodies don't define us and it sucks to wear binders and uh, be uncomfortable sometimes but it's not always going to be this way. And there is an entire future waiting for us. So I think those basically cover my main struggles. Thanks for hearing me, guys. And I am ready to listen to you guys if you need any help. Um, so hang in there, and I will talk to you guys next week.